Hey, Ark of New Jersey, it's Matthew Locasio here with your weekly guide to exercise tips and healthy living. Uh, hope you're all having a wonderful week. Um, great weather all week, which is fantastic. I think we've finally gotten to that point, Ark, where uh, even the cold days now aren't so cold. We don't have to use that dirty S word known as snow anymore. Um, so hope you guys are able to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Uh, as the beautiful weather comes, uh, people generally start to get in exercise and activity that they haven't during the winter when they're cooped up, walking, um, you know, hiking, things like that, any kind of outdoor activities. So I figured today we'll do some motion exercises um, to kind of increase the heart rate a little and it's a good way to train your body to get ready for outdoor weather and walking more and doing outdoor things that, you know, naturally increase our heart rate. So the first thing we're going to do today, and by the way, as always, uh, any questions you have with exercises or any things we do on the Fridays or just general health questions, feel free to hit us up um, at 908-875-3241. I said hit us up like I'm some kind of cool. Look, I got my hair in a ponytail today, Ark, and all of a sudden I'm trying to talk cool. Feel free to contact us at 908-875-3241, info at inhometrainermat.com, and of course the website inhometrainermat.com. You can contact us through any of those portals, and we're here to help. Um, and try, try not to focus on the ponytail while we're doing these exercises today. So first one we're going to do is a standard kind of in-place seated jog. So you're going to lift your right arm and your left leg. Now, if you have trouble with mobility with any of these, whether it's the arms or the legs, you can do just one or the other. And even if it's limited, just go to where you can. You don't have to go where I'm going in the video. So I'm lifting my right arm and left leg, and then my left arm and right leg, and we're alternating, like so. I hope you guys enjoyed the ball exercises last week in honor of March Madness, which ended with Baylor winning, who I actually picked to win, so I was pretty happy about that. We're going left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Notice that my arm's coming up in kind of an L-shaped form, just like as if I was running. Um, the legs are just coming off the ground, and I'm staying on my toes as it comes down. That way I'm not landing flat-footed, and I'm ready to come right back up. Don't do this too fast. It's not an exercise. You don't need to be Usain Bolt here. We're not going crazy fast with this. Just a nice steady motion. As you get used to it, you can increase the rate a little bit and go a little faster if you want. You know, like that. But it's never something where you want to be in place going crazy. So, it's a nice steady pace like that. And good, now we're gonna jump. Ready from our seat, we're gonna jump, but we're never leaving the chair. We're gonna raise our, put our arms back, swing them up. Put our arms back, swing them up. Just like so. Arms down, arms up. As we do that, we wanna breathe out. Squeeze the abs as you simulate jumping up because in real life, that's how you should jump. You should tighten the abs and spread them and come up and raise up in that chair as high as you can. Lean forward a little bit and raise up. Don't lean forward too far that you feel like you're going to fall out of your chair. Just enough to get that nice raise up. Get those arms as high as you can. Spread those abs. Hope everyone had a nice Easter if you celebrate Easter. Keep forgetting that was already this past weekend. Any of the holidays that just passed. Five more. 
five, four, three, two, one. One for good measure. Good, 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 good. All right, I'm gonna lower this camera a little. We're gonna do skaters. And what skaters are is you take your leg and you just slide it right, left, and push it out. Right, left, right, left. Slide it, if you have socks on, it may be easier. Um, but we're sliding across the floor. You're not lifting up here. You're just sliding the leg, sliding the leg. Push it out as far as you feel like you can go. Don't hyperextend, just a nice good range of motion. Push out, push out, push out. Looks like a speed skater if you've ever seen a speed skater. I can't skate, I can't do anything on wheels. That's why I was a basketball player because all it required was sneakers. Skateboards, ice skates, rollerblades, you name it, I'm bad at it. Do a couple more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All righty. Now, a good friend of ours at ARC that has been part of our program uh, since the beginning, Ted, uh, unfortunately isn't going to be able to do most of the ARC classes. Uh, because of his work schedule as he's back to work. And it's dedication to him because we're going to miss him and his enthusiasm. We're going to do his favorite right now, which is boxing. So we're going to put our arms near our face right here, right under the chin. Squeeze those forearms together and now punch, punch, rotate. See, I'm rotating my fist out. Punch, punch. There you go. Just like that. Good. Breathe out if you can while you're punching. Again, helps with the abs, helps regulate the breathing. Keep them up right around chest level. You don't have to swing crazy like Ted does. Ted likes to look like Muhammad Ali while he's doing this. Almost there. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Nice job, Art. Bang. Ted, I hope if you're watching, you enjoyed those. Um, love doing the punches. One of my favorites. Uh, favorite of most of you guys at Arc, and especially Ted. Uh, so glad to do that one for him. Um, we're going to do one more exercise here. Uh, one more to show you a good cardio speed up. Uh, and that is we're going to pull in instead of punch back. So now you're going to go boom, boom. So now you're pulling in just like so. Pulling, pulling. It's kind of the reverse of the punches. We're coming out and we're pulling back. Not that hard, but just to show you guys 
where you should really be full in, feeling the effect is in the pull in motion. So now we're rotating back like so. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. I know we said we were done, but we're talking about cardio and outdoor activities. You know what? We got to add in a couple bicycles, guys. We got to add in a couple bicycles. If you can do them, great. If you can't, consider that the end of today's workout. But if you have the, the ability to... Lean back in the chair you're in and just small circles. Notice my feet aren't going up high. They're just barely off the ground. Small circles. Smalls just like you're riding a bike. There we go. Five more. And now we're going to go in reverse. So now you're, you're back pedaling. Back pedaling on the bike. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. There you go. Nice little burnout at the end. Who doesn't like riding a bike in nice weather? We did some jogging. We rode a bike. We went skating. We, we fought someone. Hopefully you don't do that this spring. Um, but some great exercises for you guys. Uh, to get ready again for the nice warm weather this year. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys, not this week, but next week. Enjoy the beautiful weather arc of New Jersey. I hope you had a great holidays and I will talk to you soon. Remember, inhometrainermat.com, info at inhometrainermat.com, 908-875-3241. We're here to help, uh, as always. Miss you guys and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.